Hi folks, welcome back to Physics with Captain Rod. Uh, the purpose of this video is just to give a two-dimensional example of uh, how to use the dot products. So what we're looking at here, I have got a vector that I call vector A, which is 6i plus 2j, doesn't matter the units, this is kind of a generic example. Now, I just sketched this by hand, so, you know, um, this is the 6 and this is the 2, but I realized that, you know, it's not proportionally exact, just a hand sketch. Uh, we've got a second vector here, b, minus 2i plus 3j, and what we're going to do is we're going to use the dot product to calculate the angle between these two vectors, which is going to be this angle. I'm going to go ahead and give that a name, call it theta. Now, the dot product, remember, right, a dot b, if I write it out, is equal to magnitude of a, magnitude of b, cosine of the angle between them. However, in component form, it's equal to ax bx plus ay by. Plus, if this was a, a three-dimensional example, we'd have an az bz, but this is just 2D, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone. All right, these magnitudes can be found by Pythagorean theorem. The magnitude of a is the square root of 6 squared plus 2 squared. So I'm going to go ahead and write this out. Square root of 6 squared plus 2 squared. Right? So there's magnitude of a right? times the magnitude of b, which is going to be the square root of negative 2 squared plus 3 squared. Now the minus sign, by time you square, it just goes away anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and put just 2 squared plus 3 squared. So there's magnitude of b. All right, times cosine theta, where theta is the angle between them, equals, all right, ax bx is going to equal 6 times negative 2. That minus sign is not optional. It does not uh, go away. And then ay by is going to be 2 times 3. Right. So putting in all of these numbers, here's what we get. And now what we can do here is we'll be able to solve this for uh, theta. or for First I'll solve for cosine theta, and then we'll solve for theta. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of simplify this down a little bit. Uh, 36 and 4 is 40, so this guy is root 40. And let's see, um, 4 and 9 is 13, so that's root 13 cosine theta equals, and this is negative 12 plus 6. So that's going to be minus 6. So I'm going to do is I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to take this guy and divide it by um, this product. So what we're going to have here is cosine theta equals. The result definitely is negative. And if you give me a moment here. All right, so I get minus 0.263 out of this. Now, um, the solution to this now, we take the inverse cosine of both sides. And we get 105.2 degrees. I'm just going to round that to 105. So when I take the inverse cosine of both sides, theta is going to equal the inverse cosine of negative 0.2. Uh, 6, 3, I get for a value theta of approximately 105 degrees. So this is just meant to be a short example of uh, how to use uh, the dot product here in this example to find the angle between two vectors. Hopefully uh, this does that for you. Have a great day.